What's up guys, welcome back to the Ad Tactics training. From here out, it's gonna be mainly on the Ad Tactics dashboard, which is a brand new feature, not in any of our previous tools. So it's got a lot of power in helping you aggregate all your keywords in one place, helping you track rank, helping you identify you know, what's currently being targeted and what you could potentially be targeting in the future in a really organized way. So uh, it's really a keyword planner slash tracking tool all in one uh, along with all your ads and bid optimization grouped in there. So really super powerful uh, system and we're going to be really diving into all the intricacies and how to operate that from here out. And then you can see over here on the right, uh, we're also going to be talking about wasted ad spend and bulk campaign creation. Those will be separate videos, but that's just kind of a preview of what's to come. In this video, I'm going to be talking about importing the supplemental data. We'll talk or we'll, we'll look at the SOP that you can follow. Um, let's go ahead and get started with that. We're gonna start off with just going over to the Ad Tactics dashboard. And one important kind of concept to understand with, with Ad Tactics and this dashboard in particular is you don't have to use this dashboard, it's optional. Um, and it is independent of kind of the bid optimization process, which we've covered thus far. You have seen me in all the previous videos kind of skip over the uh, two steps here, and these two steps only pertain to the supplemental report. So if you're not interested in importing any of this auxiliary information and analyzing it, you can just go right to the sync all data after you import your bulk file and follow the steps that we've covered you know, in the videos up to this point. And again, the SOP for the bid optimization, the main one is under this manage bids here that you can follow, and it doesn't talk about any of the supplemental reports and stuff in that one, but um, if you are interested in the supplemental report information, you're gonna wanna work with this SOP here. So what's really important to understand with the supplemental reports is it's gonna be a method of downloading the reports from Seller Central, saving them under a specific name to the correct Google Drive folder, and then once they're in there, you're just gonna click a script and it's gonna automatically bring in the information. The only report you need to remember that you're gonna to need to manually import each time is gonna be your, your bulk file. From here out, this is all gonna be talking about this supplemental report hub, which is on your settings tab down here in the bottom left. So what you're basically doing is checking the ones that you're gonna to wanna to use. If you don't wanna use all of them, you don't have to. Um, if you do wanna use all of them, you're more than welcome to. Um, and there's kind of a two-step process with this. The first one is clicking this download supplemental report, and then that's gonna look at the checkboxes, and depending on which ones you have checked, it's gonna open you up a tab in Google Chrome where you can download them. Um, so after, after you log into Seller Central, you click this download supplemental reports, opens you up into the tab, and then you're gonna walk through and um, in the case of your sponsored product search term report, brand search term report, uh, we've got a video in there where that one's actually not in use, so I need to remove that. But your search term impression share and then sponsor brand search term impression share. For all of those, you're basically opened up to this same spot where you need to just create report. And it's going to prompt you then to download whichever report you need. And then you can use this criteria here, which is really important to specify which one you need. So for this one, you can see it's the SPST, which stands for Sponsor Product Search Term Report. You can change depending on 30 or 60 day date range, you can change to whatever date range you want. Uh, the most important thing though for this one is you pick Sponsor Products, Search Term, and then the summary version, not the daily version, the summary version. Uh, and then for the Sponsor Brands, very similar, except the only difference is it's, it's Sponsor Brands instead of products. For the search term reports, we actually recommend a more recent date range, like four to seven days, let's say, just because with that impression share rank, you really want to know most recently kind of against the current ad landscape, how your uh, ads are comparing as far as impression share. So that's why that report period is a lot less, but you can see the criteria here, sponsor products for sponsor brands, both set to the search term impression share rank for the summary style and then last seven days is, is a good one to go by there. All right, so you're basically just setting that criteria and then you'd hop back over then to your to the report list and then there's this little download icon next to each one that you set up that you can click on and then it's gonna prompt you where to save it. And then that's where you wanna save it to your Google Drive account, which if I go to this uh, Google Drive account within the FBA Excel tools, ad tactics, and then ad tactics data new subdirectory, which this is automatically going to get generated when you authorize the tool. So you don't need to worry about creating it. 
uh, but you're basically wanting to name the files exactly as you see here. Now, one important note is if you do use Google Drive for desktop, you typically don't have to put in the extension. It'll automatically do that just based on the, the file type that gets downloaded. So you just type in the first four letters, but then once it gets saved into Google Drive and you come into this, uh, to this Chrome view, then you should see the extension there. If you don't see the extension there, there may be some some nuances with like Mac and things like that uh, that I'm not 100% sure on. So always double check at least the first few times to make sure that you know you've got the extensions are showing up in here and you've got the icons that look like this. That just means that the the file extension format is kind of coinciding and correct. Um, but you can see here the different file types that I've saved is the kind of four we just talked about. These are rank files so i'll go through that here in the sop here in just a second but you can see the nomenclature there it's capital kw underscore then the asin for each one and this is actually going to be a historic rank report from uh, helium 10 so again i'll go over that in a minute then you've got your brand analytics file here as well so let me hop back into the sop and we'll talk about a few of these but you can see there i've just uh i've just saved those in the correct google drive folder and now here's the brain analytics. What you can do is actually, you can see here right behind this window, there's a SKU list and right next to the SKU list, there's my ASIN list. So if you want to just pull in your brain analytics for your group of ASINs each time, you'll, because you've checked your brain analytics report here, it's gonna open you automatically to this page within Seller Central. Um, you're just gonna take this list and paste it into this cell here. You can see I've pasted it in uh, and then you click apply. And then from there in the upper right hand corner, if we scroll down a little bit, it's gonna ask you to save the report. I don't have an image. Oh yeah, I do have an image. So it's gonna be download. You wanna make sure you click on this CSV option. And then you can see I just name it capital BA. And then that capital BA shows up just like this under uh, under the right folder. So your name, you're, you're saving everything to this ad tactics data new folder. That's, that's pretty important to understand. To save the uh, Helium 10 historical report, you need to have already set up your ASINs within Helium 10's rank tracker. So you do need a subscription to Helium 10. Uh, but you can see here, I've got the keyword tracker open. You just click on this new add new product. It's going to ask you to plug in your ASIN. You just put in your ASIN and then you put in the list of keywords that you want to track. You do need to give it probably one or two days for it to get the first set of organic rank tracking data. But after that, all you do is you hop into each of the ASINs, unfortunately, they don't have kind of a universal report with all the ASINs on one report. I don't know why they don't do it, but you do have to click kind of one time in this white space right here. And then this blue section will expand down and you would just click export and then you want to choose history and then you'll be a uh, date picker will show up here. So here's where I recommend only like the past five days. You can see I've got, yeah, it looks like five days here. We, we keep the rank database within ad tactics set at like 10,000 rows. So if you do like 30 days for one ASIN and then you try to do 30 days for another ASIN, you're not going to be able to store all of that information in ad tactics database for the rank tracking. So minimize that to like the past maybe three to five days. That's all you should really worry about anyway. And this it's not meant for a really long keyword tracking tool. We'll have an Excel version here soon that has that capability, but with Google Sheets, you're just going to bog it down. So, and then you're going to save it like this with the KW underscore ASIN. And you can see there, I'm not putting the extension there, but when I hit save, now when I go into my Google Drive, you can see it automatically adds that extension. So double check again that your Google Drive folder looks like what you're seeing here. And as long as it does, then you should be good to go. So you can see there just when you're ready, that's what the supplemental reports should look like. And then once you've got everything dialed in, the the step that actually brings the data in is you go up to your import new data, which is right here, and then you're gonna scroll down to import supplemental reports and click auto import supplemental data. You're gonna let that script run, and once it runs, which I'm actually gonna do here for you. So I've got all of this information, I've got it stored here. I'm not gonna bring in my rank data because I think I actually have that. Let me double check. Um, it shows up in a hidden sheet here for the fun of it. Yeah, so I've already got, this is what your rank data looks like once you import it. But uh, one thing I'll say is if you do have a ton of rank data that you're trying to import, it may be smarter to run these that I have checked right now first and import those. And then you can 
deselect them. This is if you have any issues in trying to run them all at once. It just it depends on how much data you're trying to import. But here's kind of the rank file that I've got saved right now. There's also a a secondary style rank file that I'm gonna have a separate video. It's an advanced rank report you can pull, so it's not gonna be really uh, applicable to this video, but um, this is the one you check in order to bring your rank data in whenever you wanna update it. So I'm gonna leave that off for now though, and I'm just gonna pull in these main ones. These are gonna be the main ones you wanna pull in uh, the majority of the time. All right, and I actually have these bulk file tabs in the as sync state right now, and I'm actually gonna pull in a new bulk file. So I'm gonna kind of show you from start to finish how you would integrate all of this new data for a new ad tactics run, if you will. So come up to import new data. I'm gonna click on delete use sheets, and it's gonna just kind of reset everything and delete the tabs that I don't need anymore, hit yes. And now I'm gonna walk through these four steps. So I don't need to download it because I already have, but again, that would just take you to your bulk ops screen where you can import it, or, or download it rather. You do need to manually import your bulk file each time, so I'm gonna do that now. So go to import. So that's step one, I'm waiting for it to change from saving to save to drive, which it just did. Let the green kind of finish. All right, now I'm on download supplemental reports. So I would click on that after I had checked the boxes that I wanna import. So these check boxes are used in two different places. They're used for downloading the supplemental report, reports you want or opening the tabs that, um, that you'd wanna to jump to and then also importing them. So. Um, this this checkbox here, when I click step two, it's going to open me to the correct place to download all of these that are checked. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I already have them downloaded, but um, just know that, that that's kind of what you do. And you do need to log into Seller Central before you click that or else it's going to take you right to the login page. All right, so I've got them already downloaded. They're saved in the correct place. I can confirm that by going here. You can see I've got them right there. So in order to import them now, I'm just going to click on step three auto import supplemental data and then i'm gonna hit yes and you're gonna see this import status is gonna kind of clear out and then it's gonna tell us as they get imported if they were imported correctly and if you get any sort of error again go back to your google drive folder and just make sure that extension is at the end uh, the other issue could be if for some reason you saved in the wrong format that isn't consistent with the sop so go back and double check that uh, and then lastly, if, if you still can't figure it out, open up the files within the Google Drive and just confirm that they look correct and for some reason you didn't accidentally overwrite or save something weird. Those are some common issues that, that we've seen with users. So um, when all else fails, do that. All right, so you can see imports complete. Now we're ready to sync everything. And the idea here is you've just imported all your data that you're gonna wanna use for this session. And then it's a kind of a one-time sync operation now to set everything up. So. Um, that's the step I'm at right now. Now, one thing I skipped over is the search query report uh, in information that we import. Now, for right now, because Amazon is, they're still working with their UI, it's a pretty new feature uh, with search query performance reports, and they don't have a way to download it quickly. So there's a Chrome extension you can download that's a scraper tool that just allows you to copy and paste data right from the, uh, from the UI. But you can see here, I've, I've already downloaded the extension. It's called Easy Web Data Scraper. So that link's just gonna take you right to it. You can download it. And then if you have that checkbox here for our search query performance report, you can see it says manual entry. So it's not gonna automatically import anything, but if you have it checked, it is gonna take you to your search query performance report screen um, when you do the uh, download script, this one here. So it will take you there if you want to pull that information in. I would highly recommend doing it. Uh, but what you're gonna do is first go down and make sure you've got the maximum rows displayed in the bottom right corner. So it says like 100 rows. Then you pick your ASIN weekly, then select the week. And you make, wanna make sure it's on with the ASIN view circled there. And then basically what you're gonna do is just come up, click on the extension, and then there's gonna be a table button here where it says try another table. You can click on that and it's gonna actually select, you can see this, little red line here. It's gonna select this table of data. That's what you're looking for. Um, and then you're just gonna copy the data. I just do uh, copy all. It's gonna copy it to your clipboard. And then what you're gonna do is within the menu, go to import supplemental reports, paste search query performance data. And this is how you manually for now paste the data into the tool. So it's gonna take you to a hidden sheet here. Up on your first kind of setup, this is all gonna be blank. Where you're gonna paste the data is 
uh, let's see, it's gonna be column F, so you can see there's instructions here as well. So you're gonna paste it here, you'll just hit Control Shift V, it's gonna paste it in there like you see here, and then you actually need to manually put these in. So it's the date, or, or I'm sorry, the week of whatever uh, search query report data you just imported, and then it's the ASIN, okay? And then you're gonna drag that down to where it, it just ends where the search query data that you just pasted in ends. And then when you're done with that, you're just gonna hit this save button and then everything will be good. It's, it'll hide this sheet automatically after that. So let me actually hop back into the SOP and we'll go back down to where it talked about this. All right, so you can see there we're saving the data. You go and hit the import search query performance. You go down to, if you already had information in there, you just go down into column F to the very bottom and you paste it there and then you just drag down your week number in ASIN. Just make sure if it changes from like week 34 to 35, you, you make that change and then drag that down to the very end. And then lastly, click the save button and then you're good to go. And again, the search query performance is optional, but it is highly recommended just because it's straight from Amazon. Uh, but once you've done all that, you're ready to kind of sync everything and get started with the Ad Tactics dashboard. So I'm gonna come up here, hit sync all data. All right, and depending on how big your data files are, especially your PPC bulk file, this could take anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute or two. Uh, for the most part though, for I'd say 90% of the users, it's gonna be under a minute. So you just give it a, a few seconds here. You can see mine's running in real time. It's gonna copy your SKU and ASIN list from your sponsor products file, paste that in here for, uh, there's a couple different places it's used and we'll have a video here in the near future that covers this yellow section as well. So there's some customization and advanced things you can do with that. Uh, but right now in the background, it's just prepping our search term reports. It's, it's kind of getting everything ready for us. And here you can see everything's done. And now since we've imported all this supplemental data, we can pretty much do everything that you see on this list. Before, when we were only importing our bulk file, there's some steps here that we weren't able to do, but uh, for now, we are good to go. So I'm actually going to hop back into the SOP just because this will be the main thing you're referencing, and I just wanna make sure there's nothing that I'm leaving out. So let's go down here. You've got your supplemental data, and we've synced everything. So I'm actually gonna end this one here. I know when I first started, I said I was going to talk about all the PPC audits and uh, keyword harvesting and stuff, but I'm gonna keep these videos a little bit shorter. So we'll talk about the kind of main features of the Ad Tactics dashboard here in the next one. So see you on that video, cheers.